life in citizenship, in public service. We've invited Joe Persky and David Peterson to be our speakers. Joe has served in our community as a teacher, as a coach, six years on the Sartell City Council, four years as mayor, and currently serves as uh, county commissioner. David uh, has ser served 12 years on the Sartell City Council, uh, also is a lieutenant colonel, colonel in the guard and works at the VA in uh, human resources. So I'm gonna invite them to come forward now and share some of their uh, thoughts and uh, reflections on their faith as it informs their service in community and citizenship. Full start? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, well, David. Uh, hi, Joe. Hi, hi. Um, say, be, before we get started, I just wanted to preface something a little bit here. You know, uh, tonight's uh, uh, a meal was pulled pork, and I just was wondering if that was appropriate there to have two politicians up on the night that they have pulled pork. And I just, I thought that was interesting now that you, you and I are on the menu. Uh, so. Uh, with that, I, I, I'll tell you what, it's nice to see a full house and a lot of folks here, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad to see a lot of folks. Uh, also, when you're given the microphone, and Pastor Jeff knows this every Sunday, and David knows this as well, and Paul knows it from the council meetings as well, is you're always one sentence away from looking like an idiot. So just something to uh, remember when you've got the microphone. So with that, David, I'll let you start. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Appreciate that. Good evening, everybody. My name is David Peterson, and again, uh, um, for what I wanted to discuss for citizenship and how faith uh, helped me out in mine, I wanted to focus on the 12 years on city council. I'm not currently on the city council, but uh, during my 12 years on the city council, I found that you need to have some guiding principles as you're dealing with um, public issues and with individuals. Um, and for me, there was a couple of guiding principles that I had. One guiding principle was integrity. And for myself, what integrity meant was doing the right thing even when nobody's watching. And that's something I learned through my family and from church, and that's part of my faith. The second principle, guiding principle for myself, was treating others the way that I wanted to be treated. And again, I taught that from family and also from church. So the way that that comes into play for me when I was on the council was two ways. One was when dealing with issues, and another one was when dealing with individuals. And uh, individuals would either be the other council members or with the citizens. And when you're dealing with issues, a lot of times it's the little things that you find you're drawing back on your faith and your guiding principles. A simple thing as, should I, have, should I advocate behind the scenes to have my street plowed first during the winter, <laughs> as opposed to others? I mean, that's, uh, that's, it may seem trivial, but that's something that you have to deal with and you have to make a decision. Are you gonna do that to benefit yourself? Or are you gonna do and advocate for what benefits the city as a whole on that? And that's something you have to draw upon when you're, when you're making that decision. And other decisions like that, small decisions, add up to be large decisions and define you. Also, when dealing with individuals, I found that uh, treating others the way I would want to be treated for myself meant that you're tough on the issues, but not on the person. And you can have disagreements on issues, but you can still have respect for the individual, even if they disagree with you. And that goes with uh, having a discussion, whether it's on the council or whether it's with the citizens. And even when I go out and meet the citizens and we talk about an issue that was passionate with, uh, that was passionate with the individual and we had opposite views, it would start off as a rather heated conversation, but by the time that you were done, as long as you're treating them with respect, him or her, usually by the end, it was, uh, you still had a disagreement, but you agreed to disagree, and you came out with uh, shaking hands and knowing where you stood on the positions. So again, for myself, in dealing with the public, I had two guiding principles. One was the uh, integrity, which for me meant doing the right thing, even when nobody's watching. And the second one was treating others 
the way that I would want to be treated. Those were my guiding principles, and those helped me out greatly as I uh, did public service. So. Thank you, David. And I'll tell you what, I've got a lot of respect for David uh, serving on the council as well as Paul Orndorff, he's in the audience as well, serving on the council. And that's one thing I've always had when I was in a position of authority. And, uh, and that is that, you know, we're all human. And those people that serve, whether it's president, senators, representative, all the way down to uh, uh, the lower levels of government are people too. And, and they're no greater than each or every one of us that are sitting here today, they're human beings. But with that too, uh, also comes that I, I know that I don't come with all the answers then. I don't come with all, all the authority. And so as I was on council, I would come to, to the meetings being prepared, thinking I had a good direction on which we were gonna maybe take issues, but there was always discussion. And David was there and Paul was there and a number of other folks were there. And I ha you, you should usually keep that mind open because we can do better when we work together. And that's one thing I think we all have to realize. And unfortunately, in the political arenas that we have today, we've got a two-party system that just seems to be working too much against each other rather than together with each other. And those politicians, rather than being supportive of one another, they're often demonized on one side or else they're you know, uh, put on pedestals by their own party. But again, let's remember that they're human just like any one of us, and, and that needs to be, to be recognized. And so when I make decisions, uh, w w you know, whatever they are, I try to think, well, what, what's best for the people that, that I'm serving? What's best for my community? What's best for my county? What's best for my family? What's best for my neighbors? And that makes it pretty easy as far as maybe the direction you should go. But also you have to not only live with your neighbors, you also have to live with that moral decision. What's the right thing to do? Is it, 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 it if I'm going to make a decision, I'm gonna walk away, I'm gonna put my head on the pillow and if I've not done what I felt is morally right, I'm gonna have trouble with that. So I try to make a decision based on what I think is also morally right. And the third thing is I have to live with Jan. <laughs> and so she's gonna find out how I answered and she's usually a pretty good check and balance as well. And, and she says, Joey, you know, maybe you should have thought about this, maybe you should have thought that or else she'll say, Joe, I think you did the right thing. So, you know, it's not that somebody comes in with all the answers and you have to have good people around you and, and a supportive uh, uh, base. Well, one thing that has happened is the good Lord has given us that base. He gave us the Ten Commandments. He gave us the Bible. He told us how to live our lives and how we should treat each other. Same thing is true about being a good citizen. You know, we're all uh, the communion of saints, okay? We're also a, a, a group of sinners as well. But as a communion of saints, we should try to live that life like Christ wanted us to live. And so w the way we uh, drive on the freeway or the way we drive past the school rather than you know, speeding through, we're cautious, we're, we're mindful that you know, there's children around. Uh, wh uh, when we uh, you know, take care of the things we're discarding, we know it's better to recycle than just throwing them in the trash or dumping that oil into the si soil, okay? And so we know that there are certain things that we can do to, to, to live better and live together and uh, make this world a better place for all of us. In fact, I think that's the main reason politicians, or should, the way politicians should be driven, is that is their goal should be to make life better for everyone. Then there's one last thing I'm gonna talk about, and that's something that a lot of fo folks don't like to talk about, and that's taxes. And if, if, if you like taxes, stand up. If, otherwise, you can stay seated. Okay. <laughs> I figured most people would stay seated. But the reality is, and, and, and whether it was in city council or whether running for, uh, for the, for the uh, um, uh, county commissioner's seat, I would talk to people about taxes. And they said, Joe, do something about those darn taxes. Can you do something about it? And I said, yeah, I can. I, I says, you know, we, we can do things. We can raise them. We can cut them. And I say, but you know what? When the snow falls, we need to get that snow off the road. You know, and, and, and I tell you what, you know, the kids, it, we'd be better if we had them in school than we didn't have them in school, don't you think? Oh yeah, that'd be good. And you know, grandma, if, if, when grandma, you know, runs short and doesn't have any money or grandma breaks her hip, you know, rather than just let her sit in her house, you think maybe we should get her to the hospital or get her to the home? Yeah, that's not such a bad idea either. Well, then they say, well, just don't raise them. <laughs> And so, I, you know, we're all in this together. 
And that's the one thing I want you to maybe take away from it. The, the politicians, the people I've worked with, parties don't matter. Most everyone is a good person. They want to do what's right. And the best thing you can do is to, is to let them hear from you. And also, again, uh, like I said, we're the communion of saints, and we're all in this together. And let's do the best we can with, with our local town, with, our, with our, our, our county or their state, and with this country. So I appreciate everybody listening. And... I have a, a good Lenten season. Thanks.